the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. Paul's. Uh, each year, the Church ends the liturgical year with the Feast of Christ the King. And one of the Gospel readings uh, for that feast day is John's Gospel, where Jesus finds himself before Pilate. Uh, he's a prisoner, probably one of the most vulnerable positions any human being can find themselves in. And it's interesting that the church would choose that gospel reading for a feast of Christ the King. Often we think of kingship as having to do with power, uh, being in a position of control. And very often in our world, we see so many examples of power um, used in a negative sense. We see this in the relationship between China and Tibet. We see it in the oppression of uh, poor people and injustice that is rampant in our world. And I think during this Easter season, it's appropriate to reflect on this idea of power. What does power mean? And in a very real sense, Jesus before Pilate, he's asked the question, what is truth? And the power that Jesus wields is the power of vulnerability, openness of heart, and it's an invitation to others to be themselves, to be real, to be authentic. And one of the things that our world longs for, that individuals long for, is the ability, the capacity to be real, to be themselves. And that often means removing the mask of our personality, the part of ourselves that we want to make look all together, that's got it, our act figured out. And to reveal that part of ourselves that's weak, that's vulnerable, that's afraid, that's lonely. And again, Jesus is an example of that. One of the ways in which he reached out to people was through his own vulnerability, his own human weakness. And each one of you knows your own situation, the ways in which you suffer, the ways in which uh, life kind of puts you down. And maybe take a moment to just reflect are there places in your life where you can put down uh, your front and be real, be open, be honest with others? Because that is the experience of the resurrection. Christ is present in our frailty, in our vulnerability, in our shared humanness. And if we can come to a realization of that, life uh, becomes richer. Because having an awareness of our smallness, our frailty, our weakness, also allows us to be big in other ways, particularly in the way of love, of generosity, compassion. So in this Easter season, I continue to wish and pray that each one of us will share in the joy of the risen Lord. So please join me in a Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kapakos, and here are your news. Uh, summer school forms have arrived. All applicants must be submitted, submitted to student services by Wednesday, May 28th, no exceptions. Uh, students attending night school must bring their midterm and final marks to student services as soon as they receive them. Otherwise, they will not be entered into the university or college application system, so do it. Um, a very big thank you to all those parents and students who came out in support of the Euro trip for March break of 2009. At this time we have reached maximum capacity and Mr. Gilherm will no longer be accepting any more applications or deposits. Please do not drop them off to any teacher or in the main office. A full list of all of the participants will be posted by the end of next week. Thanks for your support. Uh, can all the skills, metal, gold, 
Skills Metal Gold Medal winners, please see Mr. Mondelli in the construction room right after these announcements. Uh, this is for all university applicants. The University of Windsor will be hosting an application reception on Tuesday, April 29th at the Delta Meadowville Resort and Conference Center in Mississauga from 7 till 9 p.m. This invitation is extended to students who have applied to Windsor as well as students who are undecided about what they are planning to do. The evening will be an opportunity to learn about financial aid and scholarship opportunities, as well as academic programs and student life activities. Refreshments will be served and there will be a scholarship draw. Uh, are you a young Ontarian who has demonstrated exemplary leadership in contributing to the elimination of racial discrimination? Check out the criteria for the Lincoln M. Alexander Award 2008. More info is on the board. Uh, this is a message from Mr. Phillips. Your grad proofs are ready. The photo company will be in our lobby Tuesday at lunch to give them to you. They will be back in two weeks to take your order. And now for sports. there will be a brief but mandatory meeting today after school in room 112 across from the phys ed office to discuss the upcoming tournament. Uh, this is about our hockey team in Ottawa. Uh, after initial loss in Ottawa, our Wolverines have come back and won two games yesterday by a 2-1 to one and 4-1 to one margin. This morning's game against Timmins will determine if the guys go on to the quarterfinal play. Go Wolverines! Uh, this is a reminder to students trying out for the track team. There will be a practice today after school starting at 2.30 p.m. Please meet in, meet in the gym area at 2.30 p.m. As a result of the weather, the practice will be in their weight room. I'm signing off for now, but we do have a message for, from Tim, so stay tuned.